Our finish at Isleworth was obviously the strongest one the school's had in, in, in that event. Um, I think we had a great game plan going into the tournament. The guys really stuck to it and, and I think they learned something and it was a good experience for us. The last few years we have not been playing well in that tournament and uh, we kind of went over the, all the stats from the previous years and went over the important uh, aspects of uh, what we need to do for that tournament. And uh, that's what we focused on and the second place finish was awesome, especially with the teams playing in there. We're very happy with the way the whole full season went and to end it like that was, uh, was really good. We, we got some good results early on as well, we had a couple of wins to open up the season. Um, but then to play against a field like that and be able to beat most of them apart from one, Alabama who I don't think I've led every tournament so far this year. To finish so close to them is, is really, really pleasing. We've been in Nationals the last two years. The previous year was 19th, last year was 16th. We've been right there. Going into the last day last year, we had a really good chance. We were right on the number uh, to make the final eight match play. Came up a little bit short, but I think being through that and being right there, um, and then having a few more pieces to the puzzle this year with some better talent, that's what we need. That's what we need to, to be an elite team. We all know we can, we can do it and I think the goal is going to be to make the top eight, which is the match play. And I guess anyone can be anyone in that, so I think we all know we can, we can be done this year. We just got to keep grinding and get better every time because Nationals, it's only the top eight teams and you have to, you have to be um, very, very sharp in that week to make it to the top eight team. I really think this team has a great chance of making a run at a national championship. I mean, we, uh, we're right there with the defending national champions in a tournament this year. We know we can beat some of the elite teams here. We know we're an elite team. Anything less than making the nationals and making some noise in the match play, even getting to that national championship match and possibly winning, those are our goals. That's what we want to try to achieve. We have practice uh, here at the facility Tuesday, Thursdays from uh, 8 until 12. The guys get here normally at 7 when uh, when sun gets up. Uh, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday we have qualifying. And then we have classes in the afternoon and study all hours. So it's a pretty full uh, day. We're out here every day before the sun gets up. We stretch, we get loose. Practice doesn't start till 8. We're here at 6.30, 6.45. That's every day. Last year and two years ago, we never saw other guys doing that. It was just Greg and myself. Now we've got the entire team here by seven o'clock. Kyle and Greg have been doing that since they were freshmen. So when they got here, uh, I think they were driving the old senior class to maybe practice like that. Me and Kyle have equally devoted a lot of time to this program and to uh, coach. I think now to sort of pass that on to the, the incoming guys, it's nice to see that they're also trying as hard and we're all trying to give it a great go this year. Our heavy time in the weight room to gain some strength is going to be in November, December, January. And then once qualifying begins in about another two weeks, you know, we really kind of have to start backing off things. So now is the time if, if we're going to grow physically, it's going to happen right now. We have a very good strength coach. Uh, his name is Joe Howard and we're really pleased to have him on the team. He pushes really hard on the weight room and that's really important for us. Just to start up right after you get back from a Christmas holiday. It's really important to get back in the weight room. It's really important to condition yourself. It's really important to hone your abilities, hone your skills out here before you get into competition. It's a long season. You're gonna have a lot of early mornings. You're gonna have some travel days or you know, with homework and school and then really focusing on getting what you need to get done is really gonna be the most beneficial for us as a team in the long run. For more information on the UCF golf team, you can go to UCFKnights.com or follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.